Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kia Shanoia and this is going to be another five minute conversation on fibroids. In my last video, I addressed some like three commonly asked questions when people approach me about fibroids. So if you're interested in that, if you want to know kind of where I'm starting with this series, I will put that in the little I or in the description. One of the two places it'll be so you can check that out there. And today I'm going to be addressing a couple other questions. What happens when you don't treat your fibroids and how do you treat? fibroids first thing is what happens if you let leave your fibroids untreated um in some cases nothing can happen i mean like i said some people in my previous video i said this um some people can go their entire life without knowing they even have them but for those who are symptomatic um, obviously the fibroids can grow in size and in number they can end up taking over the uterus and then um, in some cases extreme and kind of rare cases I, I am guessing um, they start to interfere with the functionality of other organs including your your uterus um, some people become I guess infertile you, you can become infertile because of it um, ending up having to have a hysterectomy um, the pain of course it just kind of increases and you just are tormented and um, yeah, so it interferes heavily with your way of life. That, that's enough. So the second question is, how do you treat fibroids? Well, in some cases, especially in, in the beginning, um, some providers choose to just monitor them, especially if the patient is not symptomatic or they aren't really large and it's not causing a huge interference with your life and all that stuff so they might choose to just monitor them um, depending on size location and quality of life and all that stuff so they can also and i'm not really sure how i feel about this well i guess i do i do know how i feel about this for myself I chose the second option is um, birth control or kind of some kind of hormonal manipulation. Um, so that that could include an IUD that can include birth control and you know those kind of things. It wasn't for me, um, but some people choose to treat their fibroids by manipulating their hormones. Another way to treat fibroids is through surgery. Um, that's the route that I chose for myself. Um, so you, they can do a laparoscopic or a, an open surgery. They can do um, hysterectomy. It just kind of depends on where you are, like how many you have and all that stuff. So that's kind of a personal thing per person. Like when you see your doctor and you find out what your condition is. So what works for one person may not work for somebody else. Um, I would have loved to have had a laparoscopic procedure, but it just wasn't really an option for me. When I do talk about more specifically about my surgery and show you the pictures of my tumor, because I do have them, um, you'll kind of be able to see why a laparoscopic procedure was not really an option for me. They have other procedures such as ablations or embolization, um, and I can explain those probably in the next video I'll explain what embolization and ablation are but I think those are like really the main ways that they treat fibroids and obviously in my previous video I said something about diet and I do believe personally I know it's controversial but personally I do believe that your diet has a lot to do with a lot of the any systemic or medical conditions that we experience so changing your diet I think does have an effect on I mean there'll be some people coming for me in the comments saying that I'm wrong but to each their own um, I encourage everybody to do their own research but this is my personal belief that diet does play a, a role in your condition as far as whether it worsens or whether you I don't know about whether you get them in the first place because I do feel like a lot of that is hereditary um, there's a familial something in there um, but yeah, so those were the main two questions I plan to address in this. What happens if they go untreated and how do you treat fibroids? So you probably will be presented with different options depending on 
your condition. If there are other questions that you guys want me to address, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. Hopefully I've kept this video under five minutes. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty chatty. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye.